The A320 family has two VOR receivers, two DME systems, two ILS receivers, two ADF systems. The FMGC is the basic means for tuning the Navades. In normal operation, each FMGC controls automatically its own receivers, as shown. Note, in case of one FMGC failure, the remaining FMGC may control all receivers. The Navades auto-tuning, or manual tuning, can be controlled and monitored through the MCDU pages. The radio nav page, accessed by the, the rad nav key, and the selected navades page, accessed from the position monitor page. For visual display, the radio nav page displays the navades auto tuned. But the crew may force the navades to be manually tuned, as shown. Note that. When an ILS approach is selected, ILS-1 is displayed on PFD-1 and ND-2, ILS-2 is displayed on PFD-2 and ND-1. In all the modes except plan, the navades can be displayed if the ADF VOR selectors have been switched to VOR or ADF position. Here, as an example, the rose VOR mode with ADF1 and VOR2 selected. ADFs are shown as green pointers. Here, ADF1. VORs are white pointers. In this example, VOR2. Note also that the receiver 1 data is displayed on the left side of the ND and the receiver 2 data on the right side. The associated NAVAID data is displayed at the bottom of the ND in their respective colors and sides. You will see the different ND modes and NAVAID tuning later in the course. In the unlikely event of a double FMGC failure, the backup tuning mode provides radio navigation redundancy to the crew. The backup tuning mode is accessed via the radio management panels RMP. Note, RMP3 has no backup tuning capability. To access the backup tuning mode, the navigation key has to be pressed. When the backup tuning mode is selected, the control of the associated receivers is transferred to the RMP and the Nivade tuning capability of both FMGCs is lost. This is indicated on the MCDU by a change on the radio navigation page, which now shows only the titles. To return the control to the FMGC, the NAV key has to be pressed again. In backup tuning mode, the selection of one of the standby NAV keys enables the crew to tune the associated navade. For navade tuning, RMP1 standby navigation keys are associated with VOR DME1 and ADF1, while RMP2 keys are associated with VOR DME2 and ADF2. The ILS keys are slightly different. The ILS frequency tuned on either RMP is sent to both ILSs. The Digital Distance and Radio Magnetic Indicator, DDRMI, is located on the main panel. The DDRMI displays ADF, VOR, and DME raw data. It combines traditional RMI and bearing pointer presentation. Two bearing pointers are provided, each with a well-identified shape. Each can display either VOR or ADF information.
Each pointer has an associated selector, the left selector selects either VOR1 or ADF1, the right selector selects VOR2 or ADF2. Here, VOR1 and VOR2 are selected. The compass card displays the bearing as supplied by ADRU1 in normal condition or by ADRU3 if selected by the ATT heading switching selector. The counters indicate the DME distance. However, the window will display only dashes if an ADF is selected. Here, ADF2 is selected. 